Brian, first and foremost, it's great to have you back on board. How happy are you to have signed? Yeah, very happy. Um, since the end of last season, it was my aim to come back here because I enjoy it here. Fans are really good. Um, just everything about the club, like the ambition, and it's a big club, so I'm really happy to be here. Because, of course, obviously last season saw you make a few first-team appearances, and yeah. that's ultimately what you would have wanted to have done going into last season. So for you, do you feel like you achieved what you wanted to last season and you're taking it into next season as well? To be fair, it was quite a long, um, quite a big shout really to get um, appearances last year because that is what I wanted and that's always the goal. Um, I never actually expected it to happen. So when it came round, I just took my opportunity and uh, I'm happy with how I've done. Um, and it set me up for a good season this season and to push on even more. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Obviously, the National League is well known for being quite a physical, difficult season. Uh, sorry, league to be a part of. And for you personally, what's your first experience of it? How did you find it? Yeah, like I said, it's very difficult. Um, it's a very competitive league. Um, coming into men's football, I've not had much experience um, with that, so it was a very, very difficult, um, very difficult to get into. But um, once I once I'd done the first game and I got into it, I felt more comfortable for the second and third and I feel like I've done well and it helped me improve last season. Because of course you also have had you know, a number of different experiences. You had, you know, you the last game of the season against Bromley with fans, you had the long trip away against Halifax, you know, so you've really sort of experienced it all in those sort of appearances you made and ultimately as a goalkeeper you want to be the number one, but for you competing with Mitch, it must be good to have someone who you work so closely with like pushing you on and want to fight for that number one spot. Yeah, it's first there's no easy game in the National League. There's the four games I played, very four uh, tough games. Um, the Bromley one stands out the most for me to play in front of the fans, which was um, that I was really proud of to do, and um, and it's a standout of my career so far. Um, and yeah, to work with Mitch, he's always helped me throughout. Like he's for the last two years, he's also been like the coach, coaching role and training. Um, and he's pushed me and he always helps me and advises me. So yeah, he's definitely helped me out. And of course the coaches as well, you know, you Danny Anwar Coops as well. They would have helped you get ready for what would have been a, a big step up into first men's team football. How did you find that as well? How big was yeah. that? Uh, everyone, from the moment I found out that I was in the band, everyone helped me out, um, advised me, um, just basically made sure, obviously they, they knew there was going to be nerves and everything, but tried to keep me, um, try and keep those nerves away as much as possible, just like reassure me of how good I am and why I'm at the club. Um, and if I wasn't here, then I wouldn't be playing, I wouldn't be able to do it. So, um, yeah, they're just really reassuring and helpful for the whole experience. And of course, you had that experience last season, you take that into this season now, and obviously you want to be making more appearances, you want to be playing more games. So, where? what's your plans for next season? Uh, there is talk of um, a loan move, because that is what I need. Um, to improve because if I'm not playing football, uh, especially as I get older, I'm not going to improve. Um, so to get out and get regular game time and play 30, 40 games a season is the main goal. Hopefully it can come about. Um, and then eventually to just keep pushing me into the number one spot here. But then, yeah, exactly. Regardless of what happens, you know, you're ready to step up and make that position yeah. now with the experience of playing those four National League games, you say, under your belt and ready to make the step up if, if the time's right. Yeah, definitely. is. As good as those four appearances are, I do need I need more game time, and I know that, which is why I get out. But I do know that if I get called back in and need to play, I can do it, and I have confidence in myself. Because of course, you're obviously one of the younger boys, but you've been here for a number of years now. How, looking at the squad now, we've got this year a lots a lots changed in terms of you know the environment and the boys involved. How how does this season line up for you, in your opinion? Um, I see in a lot of really good improvement, just from everything with the group of players that we've got, the management we've got, we've got new coaching, uh, we've got the new training facilities that we've got and everything, like the ambition of this club is just going up and uh, it looks like it's going to be a really good season. I can't wait for it to start. And of course that would have been the reason why you wanted to sign on for another yeah. year as well. Yeah, definitely is one of the main reasons too. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Subscribe. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh.